I think that the idea of, the, of diversity being the focus of this particular symposium is a very interesting one because as we've actually seen that thus far, that diversity involves uh, many different issues. It involves issues of identity, it involves issues of tradition, it involves issues of community. And in a sense, they all come together under this very specific banner of diversity. Yet we also know that uh, diversity uh, for whom diversity how uh, are the fundamental issues that planners, uh, very specifically, and architects and landscape architects often encounter. Uh, so I wonder at times that very often we, we talk about diversity of people. Um, architects and planners sometimes are much more interested in diversity of place. There is no connection between the diversity of people and the diversity of place. Some of the most diverse places on earth uh, accommodate some of the most uh, homogeneous groups of people on earth and not necessarily the most diverse. And I would argue the opposite, that sometimes diverse environments, diverse communities, uh, do not necessarily seek to have places that reflect their difference, but rather places in which they actually feel comfortable and possibly in which they lose their identity. And they're not necessarily questioned about their religion or ethnicity or any other identity defining factor. I think that as place practitioners, uh, we often encounter <laughs> fundamentally different and difficult questions all the time that have to do with how people relate to the built environments that we build uh, or the ones that we often maintain because not all of the built environments are ones that we have produced in a sense but sometimes it is up to us or we are given the mandate or the task of trying to make it work. Um, I think if anything actually has come out of this for me uh, it is a recognition of the limits of our professional practice. Uh, it is the capacity to understand uh, that the relationship between people and place is not uh, such an easy one in which if you actually know the place then you can get the right people for it or if you know the people you can design the place for it. Not at all. To the contrary, I would say that one of the most important lessons that comes out of this uh, uh, not only is the limits of, of architecture and, and landscape practice but rather to what extent can architects and landscape architects and planners work in an environment where they know that there are certain things they can achieve and there are other things that they cannot. And I think, uh, in a sense, this should be the focus. The focus here is not how to achieve uh, larger diversity within the city, but rather how is it that diversity can work to make uh, communities that already exist work better? How is it that you can use existing places to create uh, you know, a more open and possibly a more democratic environment? And by democratic, I don't mean democracy of the nation. Uh, I mean only equity and access of uh, a community or a neighborhood.